Hello, I'm Galactic Sweet, and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon Multiplayer. Last time, uh... Okay, confession time. I It's actually been like two weeks since I recorded, so I don't actually remember what we did last time, but I know this is the next weapon we're using. The tri Slosher Nouveau. This is my second time using this weapon in ranked. And I say second because I literally did a practice version a practice run with this weapon earlier so I have no idea what I'm doing and that's a-okay because I'd figure it'd be entertaining you don't know I'm here uh, I am in a bad position yeah. <clears throat> so yes the Trislosher Nouveau has a uh, has a seeker bomb too as I like to refer to it as its sub and a uh, a echolocator as its special Personally, I think the normal one is stronger, at least kit-wise, but I can see the value in this. Uh, so let's see, let's go ahead and get the people here. Uh, yes, having an echolocator is incredibly useful. As you can see, I was able to just sort of hunt down those people right there. Uh, I like how there's a bucket, an enemy bucket hiding here when this is on our side. So yeah, no, I normally don't use the, uh, the tri Slosher Nouveau so much. That was totally intentional, not accident, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let me guys know what you guys think in the comments, because I want to, uh, hear more from you, I just don't want to just keep talking to myself. Uh, I thought I was going to die there, which is why I sent off my Echolocator, though that was kind of a pointless Echolocator. I could have waited to use that. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, and you have a bubble. But hey, that was pretty good. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with this match. I don't even care if we lose now. I mean, I'd like to win, but I feel like I did a good job showing off the weapon. Because that's my biggest fear when it comes to these sort of matches. I'm just not going to be able to show off the weapon properly, and I that was bad. Okay, I did say I'd be okay if we lost, but I still need to perform decently well. So, I take that back. I'm not okay with losing. Uh, let's see, where's the enemy? Uh, this is definitely the say I... When I did this series, I didn't think my mind would be changed on any weapon playing around with it more, but I have to say, I've actually come to like the tri Slosher a bit since starting this uh, series. This and the .52 Galdeco are weapons I've sort of changed my mind on. So that's nice. Uh, let's see. I... The map we're on, Bluefin Depot, I don't remember if I've actually showed off a, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit, here. Hello, goodbye! Okay, I traded. Uh, this is decent. Yes, the only one side has the actual splat zone. You can use the other side to sort of infiltrate and whatnot. Uh, I can show the other side right now, but they'll know I'm coming because echolocator goodness. Uh, I so frick! Uh, I was about to say, I see you, and then it was the mini splat, like, but hey, it was a noble cause, I think. Uh, I'm gonna try going this way one more time, especially since I don't have an echolocator on me this time, so they won't necessarily see me coming. Uh, I'm just gonna set up Seeker. Go, my Seeker! Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, wait, 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 I uh, okay, we got control. We got control. That's good. Uh, we got that guy. Oh my god, we wiped the team. Yes. All right, let's go. All right, we got control. This is good. Now we just need to push forward a little. I'm gonna take this way. See if I can get anyone coming over here. They probably know I'm here. Uh, wait, what? That killed? Okay, they like killed from around the corner bullet curving around a corner. Hmm, where have I heard that one before? Uh, let's see. Still need to hold control of the map for a bit, but thankfully we got the penalty on them. Uh... Alright. See you. Uh... Alright, got you. Uh, there's one person left, so we're just gonna go ahead and try and take this zone. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the last- okay, there we go. Uh, we got three people coming. Uh, okay, you're out. You're still 
here. Uh, yes, we flanked it from behind. Uh, I'm going to wait here. Oh, oh dang it. I should, I should have retreated. Or at least, like, stayed lower down because I already took damage. Uh, all they need to do is take control of the set. There's someone coming from behind. I, I can see on my gamepad map, there's, like, there's someone right behind my sniper friend. Oh, wait, what? We wiped them? All right. That went a lot better than what I thought. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that was a very good showcase of the tri slash Nouveau, and I don't even use that weapon that often, so, jeez. I'm glad I got to show that, and I will meet you guys in the next match with the next weapon. Video editing magic, do your thing. Alright, we got Piranha Pit this time. Love Piranha Pit. There's like, Piranha Pit Splat Zone is probably one of my favorite game modes. I just really like it, though I feel like can't get it. Spawn can't be. But today, or this time, we're using the Lobster Claw. You tell me with a straight face that does not look like a Lobster Claw. We're using the Dual Squelcher. Like, it is like the Jet Squelcher, except it trades range uh, for a little more power. Uh, that That's about it. Uh, and more rapid fire rate. So yes, it's a longer range than your standard shooter. It's uh, special is, or it's sub is a splat bomb, it's special is echolocator. The big thing I have to tell you to be worried about with this weapon is that it's very ink hungry. So, uh, you're going to run out of ink quickly. That's why I'm running ink say, uh, the ink up, uh, ink saver main. Because yeah, it's like a very, very ink hungry weapon. So, uh, I got you. Or, I didn't get you, but... Okay, we're gonna push and get their zone since there's not really anyone. Alright, there we go, we got it. So yes, that, that's the big issue. I, that, not just that I have a lot of people have with the dual sculptures, it's just ink hungry. So yes, when you build your... When you choose a kit, keep that in mind. I'm gonna try and keep control of these conveyor belts. Because I feel like having control of these conveyor belts is one, really fun in this map, and two, kind of essential if you want to win. As it allows you to easily take control of the center. Though, snipers can get you from up there. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello! I see you. Uh, alright. Oh, I heard something behind me for a second. Well, then. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Uh, whoa, this looks like the enemy side, and I am moving around really quickly. I'm sorry if anyone I just... Might have made sick with my camera, jerky camera movement there. Uh, hello. There, there was two people. Where's the other one? Okay, I know. Alright, yeah, we got him. Alright, we got, go, go ahead and get that zone. Hello. Oh, uh, I somehow made it out alive. Alright. And there's not really much else to say about the dual sculpture. I do say... Uh, that I actually did can wanted to try using this back when I was in like B rank. I thought this was gonna be like the best weapon ever, and that it's going to be my main. Then I dropped it as quickly as I picked it up. Uh, let's see. I want to use my echo cater, but uh, I'm gonna wait until the la that third squid respawns. All right, we're good. Echo locator. Where's the enemy? Uh, there's a guy right there. Uh, oh, well, yeah, fall-off damage. I've noticed that. I, I, okay, so I went and did a few practice matches with the dual squelcher to sort of familiarize myself with it, and I noticed I was doing really well with fall-off damage. I was just, like, shooting people and the bullets just were, were just enough to somehow net the kill before I could actually, uh, the, the bullets were just enough. That, that's what I noticed. And I, I am running a little bit of damage up on this set. I, it, actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm running primarily Ink Save Remain and Ink Sit and Ink Recovery up on the set. With a little run speed to help with streaking speed and a uh, special charge up to help get that Echo Locator a little faster. So, yeah, no, no damage up. So, I don't know if there's any merit in the looking into that, but it's an interesting observation nonetheless. Uh, so, I will meet you guys. You can see my sub right there. I have one sub of damage up, so not exactly anything worthwhile. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next match with the next weapon. Alright, and we're here in Bluefin Depot with this really pretty color. Uh, and the weapon we're going over is the variant on the Octorush. The Octorush Nouveau. Sounds so fancy and kind of snobby. 
Uh, this is an interesting variant of the Octobrush. So, uh, like, so it now has the, uh, Splat Bomb as, hey, I got someone. It now has the Splat Bomb as its, uh, sub instead of, uh, Squid Beacon, and it now has an Inkzuka as its special. Why the heck was there a Squid Beacon right here? Uh, there was really no reason to do that. Uh, we're going to try and take this zone because we have it mostly painted and that I got killed, so that's not going to work out so well. Uh, let's see. Alright, I'm going to go the other way. So yes, this is a very unique kit. I don't actually see people run this that often. Uh, though funny enough, when I went, I actually went into a uh, ranked of like 10 minutes ago to practice this weapon. And... Funny enough, I actually saw two other Inkbrush Nouveaux in the same match. I was like, I guess people are with me. Uh, I'm going to wait. Shoot. Uh, hello. Goodbye. Uh, nope. Alright, we're gonna wait here. We're just gonna wait here. It's okay. Uh, they have control of the freaking zone. Uh, no. I... Yes, riveting commentary, right? Uh, I like using bomb range. I like using bomb range up with bombs in general just to try and get more mileage out of my bombs. And thank you, friend, who got the person from behind. Now I can unleash random Inkzukas onto the opponent. Uh, I saw someone coming this way. Ah, uh, dang it. I bet I wasn't even aiming towards them. Uh, Alright, where are you? I got you. Haha. Uh, let's see, we're going to camp, but that person will know I'm there from the kill cam. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to sort of circle around and see, yeah, that, yeah that, 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 that's death. That's definitely death. So yes, uh, it's an interesting set. I, I personally prefer the standard Octobrush over the Octobrush Nouveau, and I can understand why people would like this set, but... I, I did one. I just like Squid Beacons, general. I the Squid Be the Squid Beacon works out well with the a brush in general, just being a fast a weapon that allows you to weave through enemy ink really fast. And Kraken, do I do I really need to say anything more? Kraken. As much as I say I don't like invincibility specials in this game, I am guilty of abusing them, just like everyone else. Uh, we're going to go this way. Uh. We got a lot of bombs. I'm gonna just throw my bomb in the mix to see if something happens. But that is something I'd like to do on occasion is that uh I will throw if someone's bomb rushing and I just happen to have the same type of bomb, I'll just throw my bomb into the mix and see if it uh they think they mistake it for their bomb. I've done that before. It's pretty entertaining. It's like, oh yeah, just a random stray bomb. Uh we're gonna toss a bomb there. Uh they know I'm here. Uh we're gonna go this way. Soon. 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 Oh. Not soon enough. I really wanted to get someone else. And geez, this is just knockout central. Is this the second knock- Or no, wait. Third knockout. Yeah, holy crap. We're going by really fast. This is like the third knockout. Well, second knockout, third win. Yes, I, my memory is not that great. I don't know. School, finals. It stresses you out and makes you forget stuff. So, I will see you guys in the next match with the last new weapon of the day. And trust me when I say we're not going to have such an easy time getting a win or knockout with this next weapon. Alright, and we are here in Piranha Pit. I'm liking the stage diversity. We've gotten two matches on each stage so far, I think. But yes, we're using the Rapid Blaster Pro. It is the longest range blaster in the game. More, even longer range than the range blaster, which is actually shorter range than the rapid blaster. So, there you go. Uh, just like the rapid blaster, uh, two direct hits or three indirect hits will kill. I definitely rec recommend running damage up with this and play to its range. This thing is god awful at short range. Just god awful. Uh... Words cannot describe how bad it is at short range. But if you can sort of get people from... I like getting people from around corners or if they're trying to hide somewhere. I actually had a match... I, I, okay, so 
I predicted me not being able to do so well in this map, uh, or do so well with this weapon. The reason for that is that I just don't know it that well. Uh, I've actually played the variant of this a bit. Uh, oh yeah, uh, sub is bomb chew, uh, special is Inzuka. And I did get a gameplay video. I did get a match with her. I got some really good shots with this. So I'd love to show that off. Uh, probably after this match. You'll just see a few extra clips. They're uncommentated. But hey. Uh, let's see. We got them sort of stuck back here. So yeah. No, generally what I like to do is I like to stack a bunch of damage up. And just sort of see if I can pressure people over a long range. Since uh, you outrange a lot of things with this. Uh, let's see. Uh, this guy's gonna be going through this zone, I bet. There we go, I see you. You thought you could escape. Uh, alright, get to that person. Uh, no. Stop it. I got a name, Suko, you don't. Uh, let's see if I can get that. Alright, we got that. Uh, I don't know, I don't feel like the Seeker really works out well with this. I, I mean, you could use it in good conjunction with, like, pressuring opponents, but that's about it. And that is the third knockout this uh, match episode. Words. I was doing horrible before recording, and now I'm all of a sudden destroying. Uh, reverse recording curse. So yeah, I didn't really get to get my thoughts out of my weapon that much, but definitely. in as soon as I'm done talking, I'll go show you clip, uh, uh, clips of what I think or like other good examples of using the weapon. Definitely, I think it's good for smoking people out of corners, checking around corners. Play to the range. I cannot stress that enough. That is the key with the weapon. Play to its range. So I'll let you see the clip right now. Oh, right, and we got uh, Prana Pit again. Thank you. I really wanted to show off. So we're, I'm going to the heavy Splatling Deco because I want to show off why I like the Splatling Deco on this map. Or just like fun I've had with the Splatling Deco on this map. Uh, particularly with uh, using the uh, uh, the conveyor belts to your advantage. Just sort of move along and uh, charge. And yeah, this will be the last episode this match. The last match this episode, excuse me for not being able to speak, I'm going to go ahead and watch this area. Uh, hello. Uh, they know I'm here, but they don't know I am a Kraken. Uh, okay, I'm not going to. Uh, that is a Kraken, though. Uh, I'm running a bit more damage up than I think I actually need to on this, but oh well. Uh, it also had special duration up, and special duration up is amazing on any weapon with a Kraken. Uh, there's someone behind me. Oh, I, I see you. I Kraken, Kraken, come to the Kraken. Oh shoot! Uh, how did I live? I'm not going to question that. Uh, this isn't exactly going how I'd hope it'd be, but, uh, let's see, alright, that person has an echo of, what weapon were they using? I didn't really pay attention to the weapon comp right before the match started. Uh, alright, yeah, that, that, I would have super jumped out in that situation too, that is a very good situation to super jump out in. Uh, hello, is that a Rapid Blaster Pro? Uh, I did not see, but I, I saw that weapon for a split second, that might have been the Deco variant, which has a disruptor as its special but there I go talking about weapons we're not even gonna get to for a bit. Uh let's see. Where is I'm going to go ahead and take control of this. And nope. Uh so close, so close, come on, take just a little bit more. Uh we're gonna have a tough time with both people looking at it. Uh Alright, let's see, let's get this. Uh Hello, I see you. Uh, I somehow got that person, and you thought you could get me. <laughs> I am a Kraken. Uh, oh, wait, what? What? That was not the person who was chasing me earlier. That is a very Splattershot Pro. That may or may not be the Splattershot Pro I mentioned earlier in the series. That's actually pretty good, and might have changed my mind on the very on the Splattershot Pro. 
Uh, maybe. We'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, hello. <laughs> I love, like, when getting people like that where they'll just, like, they're trying to get away and you land just enough bullets. It's very satisfying. Uh, let's see. Wait, do I, okay, I do not have an echolocator on me. Uh, so they do not know exactly where I am, but I know where, well, I don't know exactly where they are either. But I have a good idea. Uh, I, uh, riveting commentary, right? Uh, 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 and more us. I am the best commentator in the world. Uh, let's see, we're, alright. Uh, I love just, like, going through the, uh, the conveyor belt like that really quick. Uh, actually, I want to hear your, uh, your guys' opinion. What is your favorite, like, map mode combo? Because I have to say, pretty much, uh, tower control and splat zones on Prana Pit are my favorite, personally. But, uh, it's Kraken in your face! Aha! Come here, come to Kraken. Oh, or don't come, I'm out of Kraken, so. Come back another time. Uh, wow. Uh, this is his, in the episode of Knockout, and saying, oh, every 10 seconds, because I am a master commentator at this game. Yep. A plus commentary right there. So, with that, uh, we'll just show the results really quick, and I will see you guys back out in the, uh, lobby. I like how we had, uh, gr a guy named Green Waffles. I don't know why, it just seems kind of funny to me. Oh well. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna cut this. We're just gonna hit nope. We're gonna go straight to the plaza. We're gonna talk to Judd. And we're gonna wrap it up. And next time, we're going to be looking at probably one of the most hated weapons in all of Splatoon. And a weapon you've probably even heard me call out a few times in this series. But we'll worry about that when we get to it. Meow! Your vibe is so hot! Here's a fresh bonus of 1400. Yeah, knowing how far blaster shots fly before they explode is important. They'll also explode if they hit the terrain, but this reduces their power. So, a little timely advud, ad advice. I don't say advice from Judd, and I end up saying a vud. Words. What are words? So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am starting to become more active on Twitter now. Uh, posting episodes when they come out and whatnot. So, if you want to follow me, link to that is in the description. And subscribe if you like this. Share it with a friend because extra publicity helps out this channel so much. Like, unbelievable amounts. It's the best way to uh, help a channel grow. Thank you to everyone who subscribed recently. And I'll see you guys next time.